What's up, guys? Uh, so there's a lot of talk on Twitter, especially today, about a lot of people having trouble with Marduk's tackle. And I figure I would record this real quick, unedited, just to explain you guys uh, to you guys the basics of tackle and how to deal with it, just some basic options. All right? So the first thing you have to know is there are three stages to the tackle animation, the running animation. The first stage is this animation where he picks you up and puts you down. I want you to note that this is a high. That is the easiest one to break. Obviously, you break it with 1 plus 2. Not only that, you could break it by mashing 1 plus 2 as long as you time the, the, the beginning of the match like right before he touches you. The next stage is the spear, which is that animation. And that, you have to know, is a mid. Now, this is important because what it means is if you're ducking during Marduk's tackle animation, the high portion is going to whiff on you, so to speak, and then the spear will, will be the thing you have to deal with if you're not if you're in a grounded state. So keep that in mind, that if you're ducking during that animation, which he can kind of get you to do because of the VTS uh, giving him the full crouch down forward four, you have to deal with, this, uh, with, the, with the spear instead, which is basically a just frame break. Very difficult. So, obviously the third stage is that special mid headbutt. Now, this, uh, this particular special mid headbutt counts as basically a cross jab special mid, which is to say it's also classified as a low. You can jump over, you can low crush, you cannot low parry it because it's a headbutt. But yeah, you get the idea. And this is also incredibly unsafe on block because it's a special mid, you could stand and crouch block it, obviously, right? So, the thing about the beginning of the attack, I already have it recorded here. Here's what I've recorded. I'm going to reset it. He's going to go, I'm going to play it, reset it. From the, rest, uh, from the round start position, he's going to go into the cornered beast and tackle me. Basically, where I'm standing in that uh, reset situation is just about the tip range of where the tackle will become the spear if I move back just a little bit. So this is a good way to practice this. I want to show you guys how you can mash to break the basic tackle. Okay, a little, a little late there. A little early there. There you go. You see? You can hear me mashing it. See? See? Basically, anybody who's been playing this game for the past 15 years, this series for the past 15 years, ever since 5.0, where they reworked Marduk's tackle, knows this. So now you guys know this, right? So I said that the spear is the thing you have to really worry about, right? And that's basically a just frame break. I'll, and you have to press it, like, right before he touches you. I'll try to do it right now a couple of times. We'll see. Play it back. Got it. Nope, didn't get it. Nope. Got it. Got it. See, it's not as hard as you think, but it's not easy. So, the idea here is, when you're using tackle randomly in the neutral, it's pretty much a gimmick. At least out of VTS. The down back 3-4 cancel is new, I get that. But as far as just going into VTS and dealing with tackle, it's kind of a gimmick. Spear is the thing that's real for anybody that's been playing this game for a while because it is super hard to break. But, like I said, you don't have to um, just stand there and break it. The other thing you could do is jump back. I did it too well right there. And then you launch them. Free whiff punish. Everybody, when they jump and land, as long as you time it right, as long as you time it right, this is a common thing that people used to do against this character, and I'm not used to doing it myself, actually. But as long as you time it right, there it is. You will land, and then the moment you press something when you land, you get a wild standing launcher. Now, I messed up a couple of times, but believe me, this is not as hard as it looks. You just got to practice it for a bit, like anything else with Tekken, so please do that. All right? Now, obviously, there's, a situ there's some situations where if you take off the floor, he will get a guaranteed spear, such as one that I showed on Twitter earlier. 442, it's the VTS 1 plus 2. There you go, tackle, right? In this situation, you could get up and try to break it, or you have something else. Let me uh, walk into it. That's right, right? You could get up and try to break it, or you could let him whiff it, get up and launch his ass. Now, there it was too slow, but let's see if I can get it right here. See? You could just let him whiff, get up, and launch him. That's it. Marduk's Oki is very high risk because it's the same thing applies to his ground throw. If you get up and you get stuck in ground throw animation, he's free to get whiff punished. Please remember this, right? Please, I'm begging you guys. Remember this before you go on Twitter to complain 
and uh, a cry about Marduk needing nerfs, this is what you have to do to beat this. See you guys soon.